Hello, this is Daniel Blaze. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video. In this one, I'm going to show you really quickly how to install Iris and Sodium to be able to use shaders in Minecraft 1.18.1. That's right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install shaders using Iris and Sodium for Minecraft 1.18.1. It's actually fairly simple, so let's not waste too much time here. Just a few things, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this one, and all the links you're gonna to need to actually be able to do this will be down in the description. So to get started installing shaders using Iris and Sodium, what you wanna do is open up your Minecraft launcher. Once it's loaded, select latest release 1.18.1 from this list, and then click play. Here we are in Minecraft 1.18.1. Now all you gotta do is click quit game. Now open up your browser. You can either go down into the description and use the link to danielplace.net or to look up Iris shaders yourself. And once you're on the website, all you gotta do is actually go to download now, click download universal jar. This will download a .jar file. I'm gonna open my downloads folder just like this. And as you can see, it has a Java icon. And for some people it does not. So very quickly, you can try to right click it, open with, and then select Java Platform SC Binary. If it's not there, that might mean that you don't have Java at all. So in the post that'll be linked down below in the description, you'll find Java and Jarfix. First, you can run Jarfix. It's very easy. You go over to the website and download that and run it, and then it should fix all your jar files unless you don't have Java at all. Then you're gonna wanna go to the second link, click the big red button, and then you actually have Java. So after that, it should work. So now we should all be able to access this Iris installer. All you gotta do is very simple. You double click this file. It will open this Iris installer. So we can't change the edition, but we can change the game version. So select 1.18.1 from this drop down menu. And then you can select to install Iris and Sodium as a mod, but we're not gonna do that because we don't need to do that. So just click install now. So as you can see, that was only a few seconds and now it says installation succeeded. So all we need to do now is actually download some shaders. So for this one, we're gonna be using Oceano shaders. You can use the link down below in the description once again, where there will be a link to Oceano shaders, or you just look it up in Google, and then you'll be brought to this CurseForge page that says Oceano shaders 3.0. It says 1.16, I know that, and I also clarified that in my previous video. Shaders usually do not care about Minecraft versions, and ones that are compatible with 1.16 usually also are compatible with 1.18.1, and so is Oceano Shaders. So click download right here, wait five seconds, and then your download should start automatically. So there we have Oceano Shaders. I'm gonna drag these over to my desktop, just like that. And now what we need to do is actually go into our .minecraft folder. So I usually would tell you to go into the search bar and type in percent app data percent, but I'm actually gonna launch Minecraft and show you an easier way because I've gotten questions from people that use different operating systems and they couldn't actually find the Minecraft folder. So as you can see, it's installed a new Iris and Sodium profile, but first we're gonna go over to installations and actually click the folder icon right here. And this will bring us to the .minecraft folder. This is exactly what we need. So all you need to do now is right click, hover new, click folder and name it shader packs, all lowercase. Create that folder, double click it to open and then drag in the shader packs you want to install. Now that's pretty much it. Now you just close this window and now even if you were over here, you just select the iris and sodium profile for 1.18.1 and you click play. You will get this warning with every modded version of Minecraft. Just read this and if you actually do understand the risks, you click this box right here and click play. So here we are in Minecraft 1.18.1. As you can clearly tell in the bottom left corner, it says Minecraft 1.18.1 slash fabric modded. And now at first glance, it seems totally normal, just like vanilla Minecraft. But if you go into options, video settings, it will look totally different as you can see. So the first few tabs are actually supplied by Sodium, which is a mod that optimizes Minecraft to run better and give you higher FPS overall. And with that, you can actually combine that with Iris and get this new shader packs tab. And as you can see, we just put in Oceano shaders in the shader packs tab. You click the shader pack, click apply, and then click done. Now, if you click done again and done again and hop into a single player world, you should be able to enjoy your new shaders. So here we are in a Minecraft 1.18.1 world. And I was going to say, you can clearly tell this is 1.18.1, but actually it was kind of hard to tell from the normal biomes. But as you can see, there's a huge cave, a huge underwater cave here. 
and that is something you will only find in 1.18 and 1.18.1. So there you go, that's how you install shaders with Iris and Sodium for Minecraft 1.18.1. So that's been it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you install shaders for Minecraft 1.18.1. If it actually did, you know what to do, then be sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this one, and then as always, I will of course catch you in the next one. See ya!